If you've been anywhere online over the last year, you probably already know that AI has just taken over. It's in our businesses. It's in the hobbies that we're doing. It's on the entertainment that we are consuming. AI is just really everywhere and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. But in today's video, I'm super excited because there are some really amazing applications to help you actually make more money online. And one of those is in your print on demand business. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through start to finish how you can completely use AI from generating the ideas for your t-shirt to actually creating the art that's going to go on them. Now, this can save you so much time, leading you to be able to post more designs and to think of things that are going to get more sales, leading to more profit every single month. Now, if you are totally new to the world of AI, that is no problem. These tools are really beginner friendly, easy to use. I am certainly not an expert myself, but I've been able to utilize them in my business in some really fun and easy ways that have been able to save me a lot of time and just really get the gears going when it comes to thinking of new ways I can add interesting things that are going to be profitable to my business. Now, many of you guys have already taken advantage of the free cross niching guide that I have for you guys with over 40,000 different niche combinations that you can use to make new designs for your business. And a lot of what this does is it encourages you to cross major things. So maybe a holiday in a career, put them together for a really profitable design that doesn't have as much competition as if you just went for something that maybe said a generic Merry Christmas. If you haven't picked up that guide already, you can get it free down below in the description. One of the biggest comments that I've seen a lot of you guys saying is it's really hard for you guys to come up with the actual concept for what you can do when you cross two really unique things. So maybe you have Halloween and pickleball. It's really hard to think about how you could actually create a phrase or even artwork that would go with something that is so hyper specific. And that is where AI really comes in and can give you a lot of help, not only with figuring out what you're going to say on those items, but also figuring out the type of artwork you can use and even creating something 100% brand new that's never been seen before with some AI image generators. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be taking a look over at my cross nation guide. We're going to be pulling a few different cross niches with Christmas, which is coming up here soon. And we're gonna be creating 100% AI generated t-shirt designs. So let's jump right over to that guide now. So I have my cross nation guide pulled up now. And if you haven't used this before, it basically just has a bunch of different categories. So we have holiday category. We have also the career category with hundreds of different careers that you can cross with family relations. It also has a bunch of different kinds of pets. So there's not just cats and dogs that you can target in your print on demand business. There's so many other things too. And we also have hobbies, which I think is where I want to concentrate today. So I'm going to be crossing that first category of holidays. I'm choosing Christmas today. And then I'm going to pick out a few of these hobbies and we're going to have some help from chat GPT to come up with some really amazing phrases to use on these t-shirts. So the first thing that I think I want to cross with that Christmas niche is going to be something that I haven't really designed before. And that is going to be Christmas crossed with like beer tasting or someone who is really into maybe craft beers, making their own beer, or just having beer around. I think that could be a really fun combination of Christmas and a beer design. So another one that I think I'm going to go with is going to be yoga. That is a really popular niche for print on demand but the yoga niche in general is just so saturated. So if you want to sell in the yoga niche, you need to find something that is a little bit more specific. So that can be crossing it with something else. In this example, it's going to be Christmas yoga design. So let's take those ideas and head over to ChatGPT and see what we can come up with. Because right off of the top of my head, if you don't really know about a hobby, it's kind of going to be difficult to come up with a phrase or something on that t-shirt that is really going to stand out to that community. That's why it's really good to use some kind of tool like ChatGPT to give us a leg up and just think of some really fun ideas so we don't have to just rack our brains or scour the internet looking for some really fun and unique phrases. So let's go there now. All right, so I am on ChatGPT. This is a totally free to use website. You just have to sign in and make an account. And if you haven't ever been on Ch the ChatGPT website, you can simply just Google this and it's going to come up really easily. So the first thing I think I want to do is I'm going to give a little bit of context to what I want to be creating here. All right, so I just asked ChatGPT, I said, I am a print on demand seller making t-shirt designs. I want to create some shirts that combine both Christmas and a hobby. 
Can you help me come up with 10 t-shirt phrases for the niche of Christmas and beer? Now I'm going to submit that. Sometimes chat GPT, it is going to give you some ideas that work really well and others that you maybe just have to try again. So you can always ask it to generate more results if you don't get what you're looking for in that very first prompt. Okay, so let's just go through these ones that it came up for me. So the first one is going to be happy holidays, sip, cheer, and spread beer. Now we have jingle beers, jingle beers, jingle all the way. That is very funny. Beer nog, the real reason for the season. Christmas brews where Santa gets his liquid courage. Have a beery merry Christmas. Slay my name, slay my name. Fleece Navidad, stay warm, stay cheerful. Yule fuel, tis the season to drink craft beer. Let's get elfed up the Christmas beer way. Santa knows I'm on the nice beer list. There are some definite winners in there. I do find that a lot of times when I ask for t-shirt phrases and inspiration, sometimes ChatGPT gives me things that are a little bit on the longer side. So a lot of times I might just take the first portion of that. So the ones that kind of stick out to me is maybe have the beer Merry Christmas. That is very fun. Or Happy Holidays. So I think those are the two I'm going to run with. Now the next one that we are going to look for some inspiration is going to be with that yoga and Christmas niche. So since I already kind of gave it the prompt for this initial one with ChatGPT, it's going to remember what you previously have asked it. So now I'm just going to have it do the same thing, but in that yoga niche. So I asked it, can you give me 10 more ideas like these, but with Christmas and yoga instead? All right, so it was able to easily generate some more ideas for me for that yoga and Christmas niche. So the first one is Yule, Ohm, and Joy, finding balance this Christmas, Namaste under the mistletoe, yoga for a Zen Christmas, Christmas, tree pose in Christmas trees, home for the holidays, unwrap the gift of inner peace this Christmas, Merry Christmas in a side of Savasana, slay the stress with Christmas yoga bliss, yoga jingle all the way, inhale, exhale, celebrate, yoga lights up my Christmas spirit, lotus love for the holidays, Merry Blissmas, breathe in peace, breathe out joy, a yogi's Christmas. So again, a lot of those were a little bit on the longer side, but the one that I think is the clear winner here is going to be Namaste under the mistletoe, and I'm probably going to leave out that like second tagline there. All right, so I have headed over to my design suite that I'm using today, which is Kittle, who has kindly sponsored today's video. Now, if you aren't familiar with Kittle, they are kind of an all-in-one design suite that is really tailored to print-on-demand sellers. Not only do they have tons of amazing design features that make making really professional looking design super easy, they have lots of plug-and-play templates that make it easy to create really the kind of designs super fast. But one of the most fantastic features that they have incorporated recently is a new AI image generator that you have access to with one of their accounts. So that is exactly what I'm going to be using today. Now, if you want to check them out, I'll have all of their information linked down below in the description. They more and more are the sole design suite that I am using, and I definitely just can't recommend them enough. So let's start working on this first design, which is going to be that Christmas and beer one probably saying something like happy holidays or even have yourself a very merry Christmas. So let's just take a look and see what they have that we could possibly take and use for this. So I am just going to go ahead and click on this t-shirt tab and see what templates that we could just change a few things to make a really unique design. Now they have tons of different categories and designs in a bunch of different niches, but one fun thing is they have a lot of the popular ones right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and push Christmas and see if there's a really fun one that we can just take from one of those templates. All right, so I am just kind of scrolling through these Christmas ones until one kind of catches my eye. And all of these, I'm going to change it to use for our purposes. So it doesn't have to be perfect right away because I know I'm gonna be adding some new images and changing the text and even maybe some of the colors. So after looking for a second, I think I really like this one, just kind of the retro vibes that it has. And I think I could come up with a really fun Santa kind of beer themed image that could go right where this one is. So let's use this design. So the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and change what this says. So I'm just going to go ahead and have it say happy holidays. So let's put happy there and then we'll put holidays down here. And the nice thing about on Kittle is they already have formatted all the text for you. You change what it says. You don't have to reconfigure that warp feature. It's going to automatically format that for you. And then let's get rid of this since 1995 and just make this a little bit bigger. Now, as you can see, there's kind of some texture here. I typically for t-shirts, I like to remove that just because I find that sometimes it can print a little bit weird on t-shirts, but that's totally up to you. Now, the next thing I'm going to do 
to really make this design unique is I want to go to the AI image generator feature. So that is going to be over here on the left hand side. I'm going to click that image generator and then we have to actually describe what we want it to do. And then after we describe it, we're going to pick which kind of image style that we want. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to do something in a vector style. And then there's a few different types of vectors that you can create. So my first option is probably going to be this vintage drawing style that kind of reminds me of what is already here. But there's a lot of other options too, that if we can't find something that really fits, we're just going to, we can just play around with it. Now, another thing to remember when you are doing AI generated art is that sometimes it's not going to look perfect on the first try. And that is pretty much across the board. Any image generator you use is going to have that. So a lot of times you can just try again. So I'm going to start typing in what I want it to generate for me. All right. So I just went ahead and typed in Dolly Santa holding a beer stein with a Christmas tree behind him. Now I'm going to go down here to the vectors and I'm just going to go ahead and select that vintage drawing style. And then I'm going to push generate image. This can take maybe like 30 seconds to generate, but typically it's not too long. All right. So it completed the A. AI image generation. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we can take a look at what it has here. Okay. So I actually really like the style that it came up with here. The one kind of note that I have on this is it doesn't really look as much like a beer stein as I was hoping it to. It kind of more looks like a mug that maybe has hot cocoa in there. So I'm going to keep this one to the side and then maybe look and see if we can find something even better. But if not, we can go with this. But first I'm just going to go ahead and change the color here. So all you do is click right here on the object object color. And then it's going to have all the colors already in this document. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch it to that. And that's already making it look more cohesive. All right. So I wanted to maybe simplify this and see if we could get something that looks more like a beer cup that I was kind of thinking. So I said, Jolly Santa holding a beer with a Christmas tree behind him. Let's go ahead and generate that and see what it comes up with. All right. So that gave me this image here, which actually looks pretty similar to that first one we came up with. The cup is definitely a little bit less detailed. So I think I actually kind of prefer this one. I really like how they made his hat. It kind of almost reminds me of like a vintage sailor, which I just think is kind of fun for this retro vintage aesthetic. So I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and go with that first one that this created, but maybe I'll try to add some more like beer elements in here to just kind of tie the whole thing together. So first I'm just going to start kind of rearranging things until I'm really happy with how it looks. And one thing I actually might do is I'm going to go ahead and flip this horizontally just because I think that it could fit better with the letter that are already here to have that be kind of slanted that way. So let's just start rearranging and then moving all this kind of stuff here. I'm going to make Santa a little bit bigger here. Now, sometimes I like to have my word kind of overlap with the image, but since it's all the same color, it can kind of make it hard to read. So what I'm going to do is over here by the text color, there's actually something called border weight, all right? So I'm just going to kind of start sliding this up and it's going to add a border to that. Now you can change the color, but I think I like it kind of that gray grayish color. And that just gives a little bit more definition to this. And I could totally do the same thing with this one if I wanted to as well. Add just a little bit of a border here, but I think I might actually move these letters to the back. So let's see. I'm just going to make the whole thing a little bit bigger here. I like the design to take up as much of the canvas as I can. Now, another thing I can do is I can actually look for some kind of element that we can put here that just kind of ties the whole thing together and even maybe some decorative elements to throw at the bottom. So let's go over here to the left hand side, click on elements, and we can just start searching for something. So this is not AI generated. This is just the image library that they have. So let's actually look up beer stein. Okay, so it came up with quite a few different options here. And I really like this one, it kind of has that vintage feel and I can always change the color kind of be the same as the other elements in this. So let's put that here and just see if there might be anything better. I think that might be the winner. Yeah, I think that is going to definitely be a winner. I could even flip this horizontally and just see if maybe that looks a little bit better. I, I like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change the object colors to kind of match what we already have here, make it look a little bit more cohesive and like it fits in. And then one thing I a lot of times like to do is just go over here to these ornaments that Kittle has and just kind of add something around here to fill in that space. So let's look, let's go to these thin flourishes. And I think I actually just might kind of put this one down here to kind of make it look a little bit more vintage Christmassy and just kind of fill in some of the space. Let's change that color. And then one last thing I might add is I'm just going to look up like holly. And I think I want to add something here just to make it look a little bit more Christmassy. So let's see what they have. I think I might do something like this and just kind of change some of these colors here 
to make it tie in. Let's do that. And then let's change this to that red color. And then let's change this to that same color we have here. That is looking really cute. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead to here and you're going to export this. We're going to push download our design remove the background. And then this is where we want to actually change this to pixels instead of inches. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to make sure that this is at least 4,500 pixels. And then we just download that as a PNG. Now, one other cool feature Kittle has is you can just generate mockups right here. And a lot of times I just like to use this to see what the design would actually look like. So let's just pick this person here. And then we can kind of just see what this would look like if we printed it on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. And I think that turned out really fun and cool. I think we definitely succeeded in crossing those two niches together. So let's head back over and start working on our next design. Now I am back on Kittle and I am going to start working on that yoga inspired Christmas design. So let's see if we can find something really fun here. So again, I'm going to go to the Christmas and I don't have to be limited to Christmas. I can go to any of the other categories and just change some things to make it look Christmassy. But I think I'm to start here just to make the process a lot simpler. Let's see. I really love these Christmas kind of ugly sweater designs. They are super popular and I think something like this could work really well for a Christmas yoga design. Let's see. And I really like this design here and this one too. They just kind of have more of that like cutesy kind of retro groovy. So I think I actually might go with this little one here. Let's use that design. Okay so on this first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and change the lettering. So I'm going to change this to to say, I'm going to delete these other words and I'm just going to say namaste. I'm going to make that a little smaller and I'm just going to start saying namaste and stretch that out until it fits and then make it a little bit bigger. And let's move this guy up. I actually think I might want to make this a capital. So let's, let's do that here. And then I'm going to have this say under the and then change this to mistletoe. That was looking cute. I'm not loving this text right up here. So I'm either going to change it to this same one or something totally different. Right, so I think I'm going to change it to this Titan one. And then so it's similar to what is already there. All right, now is the fun part where we're going to start generating what we want this to actually be. So I really love this bear. So I'm wondering if we could actually maybe do like a little polar bear or some kind of animal that's doing yoga poses with kind of some Christmassy elements. Now this might be a little bit confusing for the image generator. So we might have to play around with it, but I think that could be really fun. So again, I'm just going over here to the image generator and I'm going to start describing what I want it to sit to be. All right, so I just wrote cute polar bear cub in a downward dog yoga pose next to a Christmas tree. Now I'm going to go over here to the clip art styles and I think I'm either going to try this kawaii one or I'm going to try like a t-shirt graphic. So let's go for that kawaii one first and then if that doesn't work we can change it up. Okay, so this is what it came up with. Now it doesn't really look like He's in a yoga pose, so I don't know if it was kind of confused by that, but the first thing I'm going to do is I just want to try it in one of the other clip art styles that's maybe a little more detailed, and maybe that will help us get what we're looking for. All right, so I tried a few different iterations of this, and I think I just had to get a little bit more specific with what I was looking for, and I ended up going with kind of more of like a seated pose and the hands together. I thought that could look kind of like more like yoga, so I ended up saying cute polar bear cub doing yoga, sitting in arms put together in front of chest, chest like praying next to a Christmas tree. So that ended up giving me this. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these other ones that didn't quite achieve what I was looking for. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to first go ahead and remove that background. Okay, next what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to vectorize this image, which is just going to allow me to be able to change a lot of these colors. So I'm going to vectorize it into eight different colors. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this guy over off to the side, but we can always reference those colors here. And I'm going to make this guy a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to start kind of changing some of these colors. So I think I'm going to do green for that here. This one I'm going to change right and I'm going to get rid of this little guy and then I'm just going to go ahead and move him to that. I'm just going to kind of resize this. All right and something else I might do to just kind of make this pop a little bit is I can actually go ahead and add a border to this image which might just make it kind of stand out a little bit more on the page and kind of make it just blend in a little bit more with the kind of other words and elements on this. So I'm just going to do that here and then that is looking super cute and almost a little bit more cartoonish which is what I was originally going for. So I'm just going to rearrange this and then once I'm totally happy with this I'm just going to go ahead and export it, download my design, and then make sure that this is at least 4,500 
pixels and then remove the background and download as a PNG. Now we can see this again on a mock-up. So let's try it on her that actually looks like she's kind of doing yoga here and we're just going to kind of resize that until it would be the size that it would actually print. Now that is looking super cute. So if you've been wanting to try your hand at AI designing, coming up with ideas and concepts, I definitely recommend it. So you can check out and try Kittle down below in the description if you never have before. Like I said, I definitely can't recommend them enough. Besides just their amazing AI features, I use them all of the time to create pretty much all of the designs that I sell in my print on demand stores and you really can't go wrong with using them. And if you're looking for more ideas and design inspiration, I definitely want to recommend you watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.